Hey guys! How are you doing? Welcome back to another video on my channel about Game of Thrones. Today, I want to talk about a very important topic in the series and books, the words of the houses. You may have heard some of them, like winter is coming, which is the Stark House's word, right? But do you know what all the words of Game of Thrones houses mean? No? Then stay tuned because I'll explain everything in detail for you. And don't worry, because I know that you guys like humor and engaging content. So get ready for some jokes and fun references during this video. Oh, and don't forget to leave your comments and suggestions so I can know what you thought and what you want to see here on my channel. So if you're ready, let's go. 1. Stark Winter is Coming Ah, uh, how Stark. It's one of the most important and beloved by Game of Thrones fans, isn't it? And no wonder since how Stark is the protagonist in this story with a very striking motto, Winter is Coming. But what does it mean exactly? Well, those who watched or read the story knows that winter in Westeros is a very harsh season full of danger. Moreover, Starks have a strong connection with the North where winter tends to be even more cruel. Therefore, winter is coming serves as an alert for upcoming dangers. It's a way to prepare oneself for worst case scenarios while facing challenges with courage and determination. However, let's be honest here. What stands out most about winter is coming itself its phraseology. Its short, impactful, easy-to-remember phraseology makes it much cooler than saying something along lines such as we are how stark we will fight until our honor remains intact. If memes and jokes are your thing then surely must have seen several funny versions around winter is coming. There's even one with Olaf, the snowman from Frozen saying winter is coming, and I love it. Of course, Game of Thrones fans may not find this funny, but it's nice to see how the phrase has become so popular and present in our daily lives. Anyway, how Stark is truly one of the most striking ones and Winter is Coming will always be remembered by fans. And if you're one of them, you must be excited to know what I'm going to say about other words from different houses. So stay tuned because there's much more to come. 2. Lannister, Hear Me Roar Now let's talk about House Lannister and its famous phrase, Hear Me Roar. This is one of the most iconic words in Game of Thrones for a reason. After all, Lannisters are one of Westeros' richest and powerful families who don't let anyone forget that. The phrase itself serves as a way to impose respect while showing everyone they are strong-willed and determined, almost like saying we're kings slash queens of the jungle no one can stop us. But as expected internet finds ways to make everything funnier than usual. Have you seen that meme with Tywin Lannister's picture captioned when you're late for dinner at Lannister family? Or another with Cersei Lannister captioned when you're a Lannister but your boyfriend slash girlfriend belongs to Stark family? Hilarious right? Jokes aside though, the Lannisters are indeed among Game of Thrones most fascinating houses. They're ambitious, intelligent, and willing to do anything necessary just so they can maintain their power and wealth. Plus, they have some interesting characters such as Cersei who happens to be TV's best villain or Tyrion who happens to be loved by many fans. In short, Hear Me Roar is a phrase that represents House Lannister and its strong-willed personality very well. And if you're a fan of the Lannisters, then you must be eager to know what I'm going to say about other words from different houses. So keep watching because there's much more to come. 3. Targaryen's Fire and Blood and now it's time to talk about House Targaryen and its famous phrase, fire and blood. This is one of Game of Thrones' most intense words for good reason. After all, Targaryens are one of Westeros' most powerful and emblematic families with this phrase symbolizing their history quite well. The phrase fire and blood was first used by Aegon the Conqueror when he invaded Westeros with his dragons and conquered seven kingdoms. Since then, this has been the philosophy behind House Targaryen, using their dragon's fire while shedding blood in order to get what they want. But of course, this strategy also has its consequences. The history of the Targaryens is full of tragedies and conflicts, and many characters in the family have suffered because of it. But even so, the Targaryens are a fascinating house full of mysteries, and it's impossible not to be enchanted by them. And as always, the internet found a way to make everything more fun. Who hasn't seen that meme with Jon Snow captioned, I know I'm a Targaryen because I love barbecue? Or that other one with Daenerys Targaryen captioned, when you're unsure if you're a mother of dragons or a mother of dogs? Impossible not to laugh. But jokes aside, fire and blood is a phrase that represents the House Targaryen and their history very well. And if you're a fan of the Targaryens, you must be eager to hear what I'll say about the other houses' words too. So keep watching because there's much more to come. 4. Baratheon Ours is Fury Now it's time to talk about House Baratheon and their famous phrase, Ours is Fury. This is one of Game of Thrones' most intense words for good reason. After all, Baratheons are known for their strength and determination. The phrase ours is fury represents well Baratheon's personality, they are proud people who won't accept being subjugated by anyone else. When they feel disrespected or wronged in any way, their fury knows no bounds. Robert Baratheon was an example, he wasn't afraid to fight for what he believed in when he rebelled against the Targaryens taking over Iron Throne showing everyone how powerful his house could be. Even after his death Stannis and Renly continued fighting for control over Iron Throne. 
But of course, not everything is perfect in House Baratheon. The family's history is marked by tragedies and conflicts, and many characters have suffered because of it. But even so, the Baratheons are a fascinating house full of mysteries, and it's impossible not to be enchanted by them. And as always, the internet found a way to make everything more fun. Who hasn't seen that meme with Stannis Baratheon captioned, For honor and duty I will burn you? Or that other one with Robert Baratheon captioned, I'm like a pig, I get better when I age. Impossible not to laugh. But jokes aside, ours is Fury represents Wellhouse Baratheon and their history. And if you're a fan of this house too, you must be eager to hear what I'll say about the other house's words. So keep watching because there's much more to come. 5. Greyjoy, we do not sow. Now let's talk about House Greyjoy and their famous phrase, we do not sow. This is one of Game of Thrones' most intriguing words representing Well Greyjoy's personality. The Greyjoys live on the Iron Islands archipelago where piracy is their main economic activity. Therefore, the phrase we do not sow makes sense since they don't need to plant anything as they can steal whatever they need from others. However, this mentality doesn't please everyone else. Other houses view them with suspicion or even contempt for considering their methods dishonest or cowardly which becomes evident in their troubled relationships especially with Stark. Despite all criticism though, Greyjoys are still an interesting house full of mysteries led by Balon who has become quite memorable due to his complex character inspiring both admiration and repulsion at once. And naturally enough internet didn't miss out on opportunities for memes using phrases related to House Greyjoy. Who hasn't seen that meme with Balon Greyjoy's photo captioned, I do not sow, I do not plow, I do not wash. Or that other one with the phrase, he who sows the wind reaps the Greyjoy. It's guaranteed to make you laugh. In conclusion, we do not sow is one of Game of Thrones' most memorable phrases representing Wellhouse Greyjoy and their personality. And if you're a fan of this house too, you must be eager to hear what I'll say about the other house's words. So keep watching because there's much more to come. 6. Martell Unbowed, Unbent, Unbroken now it's time to talk about House Martell, with their motto, unbowed, unbent, unbroken. And this phrase represents very well the strong and resilient personality of the Martells. The Martells are the main house in Dorne, a hot and arid region located at the southernmost tip of the Seven Kingdoms. They are known for their different culture that values sexual freedom and equality between men and women. In addition, the Martells are famous for their fighting skills, especially with spears. The phrase unbowed, unbent, unbroken is a kind of motto for House Martell which refuses to bow down before other houses or any kind of oppression. This rebellious attitude has caused them several disputes with other houses especially with Lannisters. But what stands out most about the Martells is the personality of its members. From Patriarch Dorian Martell who is a brilliant strategist but suffers from a rare disease to Warrior Oberyn Martell who is one of the most charismatic characters in series, they are all striking and fascinating. And the phrase unbowed, unbent, unbroken is so iconic that it has even become a popular tattoo among Game of Thrones fans. But there's always that friend who gets it wrong and ends up writing unsubmissive, bendless, or broken. Then you know what happens next? We just laugh. Anyway, House Martell is one of Game of Thrones' most interesting and enigmatic houses, while its motto represents its strong and rebellious personality perfectly. And if you're also a hearted Martell fan, don't forget to leave your like on this video channel so as not to miss any episode. 7. Tyrell Growing Strong Now it's time to talk about House Tyrell, with their motto Growing Strong. And this phrase represents very well the strategy of House Tyrell to strengthen itself through alliances and diplomacy. The Tyrells are the main house in the region of High Garden, known for its beautiful gardens and being one of the richest and most fertile regions in the Seven Kingdoms. They are a powerful and influential house thanks to their ability to cultivate and produce food. The strategy of House Tyrell has always been to strengthen itself through alliances with other houses and with the royal family. And they have successfully achieved that by having members from their own house as queens or royal consorts, also establishing alliances with other important houses such as Lannisters. But the Tyrells are also known for their cunningness and perspicacity, which is represented by growing strong their ability to adapt themselves amidst difficult situations. They are a house that knows how to play the Game of Thrones while taking advantage of opportunities that arise. And we can't talk about Tyrell without mentioning Queen Marjorie Tyrell the Queen of Thorns who is a captivating character full of intelligence. She knows how to use her beauty and astuteness to get closer to power. She's one of Game of Thrones' most beloved characters, representing perfectly House Tyrell's spirit, growing strong. Anyway, House Tyrell is one of Game of Thrones' most intriguing strategist houses, while its motto represents perfectly its ability in strengthening itself through alliances and diplomacy. If you're also a hearted Tyrell fan, don't forget leaving your like on this video channel so as not missing any episode. 8. Aaron as high as honor. Ah, the Aarons. The family that seems born holding justice sword on hand and saying as high as honor at tip tongue. After all, this is what defines them, putting honor above everything else. But that doesn't mean they don't know how to have fun life isn't just about honor and duty. 
Let's start by talking about an emblematic figure of the Aarons, John Aaron, the former protector of the Vale. He was one of Ned Stark's mentors, and it is thanks to him that Ned became Hand of the King. John was a wise, fair, and brave man who always put the well-being of his kingdom above everything else. He was also known for being very close to Lisa Tully, his wife and Caitlin Stark's sister. But not all errands were as exemplary as John. Lisa, for example, was a woman who set aside her honor to live a great love story. She had been in love with Peter Baelish since childhood but ended up marrying John Aaron for political reasons. After her husband's death she got involved again with Baelish which led to disastrous events. But not all errands were as exemplary as John. Lisa, for example, was a woman who set aside honor to live a great love. She had been in love with Peter Baelish since childhood but ended up marrying John Aaron for political reasons. After her husband's death, she became involved with Baelish again, which led to a series of disastrous events. However, we cannot talk about the Aarons without mentioning Robin Aaron, the current heir of the house. Robin is a spoiled and pampered boy who has always gotten everything he wanted. He is protected by his mother Lisa, who treats him like a fragile and sick child. However, Robin is not as innocent as he seems. He has shown himself capable of cruelty when he ordered a singer thrown from the moon door. But not all errands are like this. We can also talk about Yon Royce, a highly respected knight who has always stood by House Aaron's side. He is an honorable and courageous man who has shown himself willing to fight to the death for the house he serves. Royce was also a great supporter of John Aaron and did everything possible to protect the Vale after his protector's death. And finally, we have to talk about a very important place for the Aarons, the Ares, their almost invincible fortress that protects the Vale atop its mountain peak accessible only through narrow dangerous roads leading up there, hence they take pride in defending it at any cost. So summarizing, the Aarons are known for valuing honor and duty but also have their secrets and mysteries, they own an almost invincible fortress, the Ari, and have rich history filled with complex characters that make them interesting, will they be able to maintain honor above all amidst so many intrigues and dangers? Only time will tell. 9. Tully Family, Duty, Honor House Tully is known for their loyalty to family, duty, and honor. They are the lords of the Riverlands with their seat at Riverrun. Their motto is family, duty, honor which means that family comes first and everyone must fulfill their duties and honor their obligations. The Tullis are one of the most important houses in Westeros as they control one of the main river routes on the continent and have an important strategic position. They are loyal to House Stark and fought alongside them during Robert's Rebellion. House Tully is led by Caitlin Stark, a strong and intelligent woman who will do anything to protect her family. She is Ned Stark's wife and mother to Rob, Sansa, Arya, Bran and Rickon. Caitlin is extremely protective of her family, she dedicates herself entirely towards keeping them safe. Their soldiers are known as trout fishes due to their house sigil a red trout on a blue field. The Tullis are one of the noblest houses in Westeros whose loyalty is highly valued by those who stand beside them. But not everything has been easy for House Tully like any other noble house they too face challenges, one of its biggest challenges being House Lannister's ambition always seeking ways to expand power and influence. Tullus also have had tense relations with House Greyjoy due to Lord Hoster Tully fighting against Balon Greyjoy during Greyjoy Rebellion. However, despite all these challenges, House Tully continues thriving and remains respected among other great houses in Westeros. Its dedication towards family, duty, honor serves as an example for all making it admired and respected. We've come to end this amazing video about a Soif slash Game of Thrones house's words. I hope you enjoyed learning more about each house and its motto while having fun with my bad jokes and random pop culture references. Remember that despite being a fictional work, Game of Thrones is a great source of reflection on values, political strategies, and ethics. It's also a story that entertains and moves everyone who ventures into Westeros. I want to thank everyone who has followed along until now and hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future video topics, leave them in the comments below. Until next time. If you liked the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll stay here until next time.